Over the last two decades or so, Latin people have joined the fold of Islam and Islam is the fastest growing religion among them, alhamdulillah. One such Latina convert is Wendy Diaz, or commonly known as Umm Uthman, a daughter of a US military officer who's had a fascinating journey to Islam. In this video, we will be going over each step of her way towards this spiritual enlightenment. So let's begin. Born in Puerto Rico, Sister Wendy was around five or six years old when her father joined the US military. This eventually led her family to settle down in El Paso, Texas. At the time, Sister Wendy was in third grade and was not versed in English. Anyhow, throughout her youth, Sister Wendy found herself shifting from one place to the other as her father was assigned from one base to the other. On the brighter side of it, she got to meet people from diverse backgrounds. Moving on, while in Puerto Rico, she had begun going to the Catholic Church. In El Paso, she continued with that. However, there was something that she didn't feel right about Christianity. Whenever she entered a church, she would find different statues and paintings of Jesus and Mary staring at her, which she found intimidating. Anyway, then she moved to Alaska where her parents stopped going to church as her mother believed that if they wanted to pray to God, they could do so anywhere. From then on, they stopped going to church anywhere they went. Proceeding forward, by the time her family settled in Maryland, Sister Wendy was fed up with all the moving. She felt a little depressed as she didn't know anyone in that city. At that time, a movie called Malcolm X caught her attention. She was particularly impressed by the protagonist of the movie, which was Malcolm X himself, and that's when her first interaction with Islam came. She bought the whole autobiography of Malcolm X and read it cover to cover. As a result, she learned about nature and the true form of Islam. At that time, a Christian girl lived close by her house who eventually convinced Sister Wendy to come to church with her. At first, Sister Wendy was hesitant due to the statues and pictures that are normally found in a church. But when that Christian girl convinced her that there was nothing like that in the church, she agreed to go with her. Meanwhile, she also met an Egyptian Muslim girl named Hibatullah in her English class in high school whom she ultimately befriended. Besides being interested in each other's cultures, the two of them found common ground in their parents being quite strict. So, on one side, she had started to enjoy going to church, and on the other, she had found a great acquaintance in a Muslim girl. By the way, Sister Wendy only found out that Hibatullah was a Muslim when she met her family. She was greatly impressed by how righteous Hiba's parents were and especially how they prayed and how her mother covered herself. Accordingly, Sister Wendy went to her Christian friend's father, who is a pastor, telling him about how virtuous and God-fearing Hiba's parents are and asking if they would still go to hell. The pastor stood quiet for a moment or two and then said that if they don't believe in Jesus as their God and Saviour, they would go to hell. Sister Wendy felt really disappointed with the response as she really liked her friend Hibba. So her next question was, Are you telling me that all the Jews who died during the Holocaust are also going to hell? The pastor's response was the same. He told her that if they didn't believe in Jesus, then they would definitely go to hell. Again, Sister Wendy couldn't really accept that response. Moving on, by now, Sister Wendy had all these conflicting ideas about spirituality. So, when she moved to Augusta, Georgia, she asked her father to take her to church. Accordingly, her father took her to a place with two churches side by side. They went in one of them, and upon seeing them inside, a man stood up and told them, If you're looking for the black church, it's that one right there. All the people in that church were white, and the dark skins of Sister Wendy and her father made them stuck out. However, the way those people treated them was unacceptable, especially for Sister Wendy, who was in quest of the real God. Anyhow, they went to the other church and met a really nice community there, but with that experience, Umm Uthman decided to give up on Christianity. 
So she asked her father's permission to go and meet her Muslim friend Hibba. Her father agreed and bought her a ticket to Maryland. When she got to Maryland, it was the month of Ramadan. Hibba warned her that she and her family will be fasting and Sister Wendy replied by telling her it was no problem. On the day of Eid, Hibba told her that they need to wake up early for prayer and asked if she's okay with it. Sister Wendy replied in the affirmative. So when they went to a mosque, Hibba asked her to wear a headscarf if she's good with it. Again, Sister Wendy was happy to oblige. One thing led to another and Sister Wendy eventually ended up saying the prayer by Hibba's side. She basically felt embarrassed being left out of what everyone was doing and told Hibba that she would just follow her actions. Moving on, after the prayer, they went to the parking lot. By the time Hibba had taken off her scarf, she told Sister Wendy to take her scarf off as well, but surprisingly, Sister Wendy replied by saying that she shouldn't as they're still in the parking lot. Anyhow, Hibba and her parents laughed off the situation. It was too early in the morning, so they went back home and decided to take a nap before going out for fun. As Sister Wendy laid on the bed and fell asleep, something kept going in the back of her mind. Something like, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. And she was like, what is that? It just kept repeating again and again. So she woke Hibba up and inquired about these words. She explained that these words basically mean that Allah is great and that there's no God besides him. At that time, Sister Wendy didn't feel any sort of spiritual connection with those words and she let Hibba go back to sleep. Thereafter, Sister Wendy went to different places with Hibba. She saw Muslims pray for the first time and asked Hibba that why do women pray behind men? Hibba replied, Hello, don't you know if the women were praying in front of the men, what do you think the men would be thinking about? The answer seemed to make sense to Sister Wendy. Thereafter, she kept on asking different questions to Hibba regarding Islam who always answered them as to her satisfaction. She also asked Hibba's parents questions to the point where Hibba's father just handed her a few books and told her to give them a read, instead of asking questions all the time. So the first book that she read was based on the comparison between Islam and Christianity, and she says that she found the answers to every single question she ever had about spirituality in that book. Afterward, she started to look for Muslims online. She met a Muslim brother named Fada from Atlanta to whom she inquired about Islam. Fada confirmed her faith in Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him being Allah's last messenger. Then he told her that he would visit her soon and that she would need a few witnesses while she utters her shahada. Ultimately, in 2000, Sister Wendy said her shahada and became a Muslim. Right after she uttered her shahada, Sister Wendy gave Hibba a ring and told her that she has become a Muslim. Hibba was left flabbergasted and called for her parents. They told Sister Wendy to immediately come to Maryland and that Shahada needs to be said in a mosque. Accordingly, she flew to Maryland and said her Shahada three times, as per the Sunnah, in a mosque. Seven years later, Sister Wendy married a Latino Muslim convert, Hernan Guadalupe. Nowadays, she dedicates her life to helping other Spanish speakers learn about the beauty of Islam through her education-based organization, Hablamos Islam. Furthermore, she has authored several bilingual children's books about a range of Islamic topics which have been distributed in countries all over Latin America, Spain and the US. May Allah shower Sister Wendy with success in all her endeavors. Amin.